Well, she's a UK comedian named one of the top ten comics to see in Vogue, Al, Time Out, Crikey, all of them, The Guardian, The Times and The Independent. And she's bringing What's That Lady Doing to the International New Zealand Comedy Fest. Please welcome to the cafe, Lou Sanders. Yes! Right. So this is your first time performing in New Zealand, right? Yes, very much so. And what First and last. First and last. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it here, actually. It's lovely. Yeah, well, what made you want to come here in the first place? Well, I got asked, and I sort of do most things for money. So. Right. <laughs> and I went, I'll pay you. And she went, yes. I yes. was reading a description of you, and yes. they said, "Is this? did you write this yourself? She's a compelling mixture of a young Steve Martin and a nine-year-old girl having a midlife crisis. No, I didn't, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm growing up now, so you won't see any of that. Um, well, I'll tell you what, we can play a little clip for those that, you know, I just want to get a taste, if you've never seen Lou before, of what she does. Have a wee look at this clip. Hello. Yes, it's me, Lulu. Hello. Nice to see you. It's nice to be in Melbourne. Oh, my God. Last time I was in Australia, I was with my fiancé. Um, so cute. And um, I said to him, like, do you want to come on this trip? And he said no, because we split up ages ago, so it'd be really weird. <laughs> for him. Um, <laughs> oh, that, that looks good. Now, uh, you're making funny noises after you describe him. Like, eh, eh, eh. Um, are you still single? Yes, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably why. <laughs> <laughs> and you're really using this as a massive dating opportunity. Hey, it's not the first time, I must oh, say. Really? We had somebody on recently who did the same thing. Oh, great. Mm, Just mm. Oh, no, comedian. <gasps> UK comedian. Man or woman? Man. Well, it looks like we're made to be together. It looks like yes. it's a match made in heaven. Oh, really? You already kissed him. Who was it? He was good-looking. Oh, Jimmy like, McGee. Jimmy McGee. Oh, I love Jimmy McGee, but we've never kissed each other. Well, maybe you can love Jimmy <laughs> McGee. He's a dirty old dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's my friend. So tell us about your show. What's that lady doing? Uh, okay, so it's uh, comedy. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> God, I've littered a few jokes in there. Oh, we excellent. At the beginning. So <laughs> yes. And then... No more. <laughs> Love it's just a then, random no lady talking. And then yeah. I'm just going to talk about veganism for the hour. <laughs> oh, that sounds hilarious. <laughs> we'll be in the front. It's more of a sort of uh, militant speech. No, it's about. Um, we'll be there in the background with our yeah. KFC. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> and you'll get escorted out. <laughs> uh, no, it's about. It's not really about anything. It's about the label of madness a little bit, like mm. when people say, oh, you're mad. Uh, that. And it's just a silly, fun show, really. So, you know, when you, when you come up with this, what, do you have to practice it for hours and get it right, or does it just fall no, into your head? It's really heaven sent from Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the light goes on and like, it shines down just on you. Down. And there was music in the background. <laughs> yeah, an angel. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, because sometimes like, you look at that clip and it just sounds like you, you've come into a pub and you're telling your girlfriends what's yeah, happened. Yeah, that's not the best clip, actually. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beginning where I'm establishing myself. I do get to some actual jokes later. Right. But, um, I don't think we could play the rest of it. No, just filth. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You used to have like a lot of props. That was your thing, wasn't yeah. it? But you're downscaling the props um, a bit. Well, to get here, I went over the baggage allowance and I left half the props at home. So I just want to be like me, the mic and the truth. Nice. But maybe, that, <laughs> maybe that's next year. And a chicken. And a, chi and a live chicken. <laughs> now, you've done some great work in the UK. You're also part of the big show with some fellow UK yes. comedians. Yeah. Um, Some great people on that. Yeah, who, anyone you'd recommend? Uh, all of them on the big show. Yeah. It's me, Ed Gamble, Ian Sterling, Adam Hess, all brilliant, all got their hour shows. Hang on, why am I plugging their shows? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Uh, we'll come to them all. You, what, what else have you got to do? Hey? Yeah, they, no, <laughs> exactly. so true, so true. Exactly. And you also did a short film last year called Elderflower. What was yeah, that about? That was, I can't reveal it. Oh, because really? it's a bit, it's a real twist. Okay. Oh my goodness. But okay. it was, in, it was um, with these three older ladies, so 76, not that age matters, but a 76 year old, 82, and another one, she's a bit younger, who cares? But um, <laughs> they were so great. Oh my God, they were so great. And it was giving them like really saucy roles. I've not used the word saucy before. <laughs> <laughs> and I dare say I won't do it again. But um, yeah, so they were playing, so it was really fun. And it was fun to see them in those, and they loved it because they never get offered those kind of roles. Oh, that sounds nice. cool. Hey, we've got to go, um, but that's Sounds intriguing. You yes. are intriguing. You yeah. are amazing. What's yeah, that cool. lady doing? Thank you, Lou, for tickets to see Lou in Did Auckland. Did you just mock her accent? Oh, I'm sorry, that was unintentional. I like it. See you in Auckland and Wellington. Head along to the Comedy Festival website for details. Yeah.